Welcome back to the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you can see bullet holes all over the place because I've had to do a little extra preparing for this video since it is the crybaby episode. And dear God, these these things can be confusing. Um, but I am going to start off with the scavs by just covering the regular ones and start off with the easy legendary and then I will get into the crybaby. So scav, as you, uh, scav assault rifles and I'm sorry if I slip and say bandit people but uh, if I do get out some whiskey and take a shot and if you get hospitalized for alcohol poisoning that's on you. So the also if you're underage don't do that. Um, I often stick up for assault rifles. That being said, Bandit and or Scav, I meant to say at that time, you don't have to take a shot, because I'm talking about Borderlands 2 and TPS together here, um, since they share the same base weapon system, the Scav slash Bandit ones are the some of the lowest of any kind of weapon class. They seem to pay for their extremely large magazine size with just low damage, mediocre fire rate, and a god-awful reload speed. And even though that magazine size is incredibly deep, when you do have to reload, and you will occasionally have to reload, it's in so, so painful. Um, they're just not great guns. Now, there are some really good red text bandit assault rifles in Borderlands 2. Although we only really have two red text ones in the pre-sequel, but the Crybaby has a lot of variants, so that kind of helps that. Now, the Fusillade, it's kind of like the Flayer. It's just a general stat boost. Uh, better damage, a good boost at 500. That's pretty solid at this these kind of numbers. Um, the accuracy stays the same. The fire rate goes up a whole two, which is huge. Uh, your reload speed cuts down almost a full point, which is very nice, although 5.9 is way too long still. And the magazine size went up a little bit, which is kind of dumb. So with this one, you also have better recoil on it. Actually, before I start shooting it, let's just look at this thing, because I think this is one of the most beautiful weapon skins I've seen in Borderlands 2 or the pre-sequel. I don't know, I think it looks freaking amazing. You you might disagree, a little lightning uh, decal there. Purple line's a little, little bit odd there, but uh, I love the way this thing looks. So that being said, let's uh, go shoot at this gentleman here. So I'm not really controlling the recoil, but minimally. And you can see that. Now I'm going to switch to the regular bandit assault rifle. Which slot do I have? Scav that. Take a shot. Unless you're underage. So you can see the difference in the fire rate. But I also have to do a lot more to control the recoil. Now I can do it because it's slower. But if I kind of let go as I do here. It b bounces around a good amount. So you're not going to be able to use this thing at very good range. That was the wrong gun. I'm sorry. Let's do this again. So at first I'll try to control it. And about halfway through I'll... Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to let go. I'm just going to let it bounce. Although it's kind of found its own. I I've seen worse performance. There's somewhat RNG with this. But um, the other... The Fusillade has better recoil. So now I'm going to do it. Just I'm not going to control any recoil. I'm just going to hold the trigger. So once this kind of finds its own, I'm a little bit high, I should have shot a little bit lower and I'd be nailing all of those. Because the group is actually staying fairly tight there. Alright, so let's go down to my purple. And I'll try to kind of line it up in about the same spot, to be fair. And... Yeah, it's missing about the same. The recoil felt a little bit worse to me. Uh, there it goes, it bounces a little bit worse. So, um, this thing seems to have a little, or sorry, the fuselage seems to have better range, better recoil, pretty much better everything, except for accuracy. So I think that's pretty solid. It's not too exciting, but it should be solid. 
and full disclosure, I have not used it very much, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to play out if the stats are good enough, but um, I'm kind of excited to go and try that out. Now, on to the confusing uh, shit. So, the crybabies, there are a lot of crybabies, and I'm going to try to just get a regular blue up here to keep comparing them to. So, with the crybabies, you have two different barrels. As you can see here, this is your regular scav barrel. Or you have an E-Tech barrel, even though E-Tech guns don't exist, the barrels are still in there. And all these are Binding of Isaac references. So, the scav barrel just has slower bullets. The E-Tech barrel uh, has kind of a wave pattern to it. So I'm just going to grab two of them here. I want to start off with my bloodies. I should just grab three bloodies here. Bloody Wiggly, that'll work. So, I'm just gonna shoot the wall here so you can see. So this one, you see slow bullet speed, shoot straight. And then the scav barrel, you have this bounce, which looks like something out of Binding of Isaac. I've seen gameplay of it, I've never played it. And that's really cool thematically, but the problem with stuff like this, and we saw this with guns in Borderlands 2, is they're really unreliable for critting, and sometimes you can just miss enemies with that bounce, which just kind of lowers your DPS, and then you have slow bullet speed on top of it. So I'm going to... It's going to be a little bit slow, everyone, because I've got to keep finding the bloodies. So, within each barrel, there's also elements. So the bloody element is, um, it lowers your damage, gives you faster reload speed, and then you have a, they have a built-in kill skill, which stacks damage. But... The problem here is when you look at this, and I'm going to bring it up and just go compare to this purple here. So this purple gun wasn't very good with its stats. And the blue one suffers, you know, like blue ones should be lesser than purples. That's just what they are. So you have quite a bit less damage at about 1,200 less. You have a little bit less accuracy, which isn't going to be a terrible deal breaker, but on these guns it kind of hurts because... They don't, they're only really mid-range, and they're not even that great at that. And then lower magazine size, which doesn't matter. At least you don't have a bigger reload speed. So, when I go down to these bloodies, um, the next part of it after the element is the accessory. So you have one accessory, which is this. And that will lower the damage, increase your fire rate. Now, with these ones, that damage is really low. At, so this one's taken two damage penalties, one from the element and one from the accessory. And now you're getting to a really pitiful damage. And even with the kill skills, I don't know if it's worth it. Now, the fire rate's better, and the reload speed is really nice for these things. But it is very pillow-fisted. So I will... Actually, I'll just kind of cover them all, then I'll shoot them. So then you get the no accessory, which on the no accessory you have lower damage and lower fire rate from the element. Uh, and then you have the better reload speed from the element. And I, again, don't think this is worth it because the problem is already that this gun's fire rate and damage is not good enough for DPS. Uh, the reload speed helps, but no. And then you go to the Wiggly. Oh, wait a second, that's the wrong Wiggly. I should have a Scav Barrel Wiggly. So you go to the Wiggly. Now this is also taking two damage uh, reductions on the bullet, but at least you have three bullets. Um, the fire rate goes down to a really pathetic 4.3 though, and again that reload speed is better. So. To start off shooting, let's go with the first accessory, which is going to help your fire rate. And the fire rate is better. 
and if you're killing things, you will get that kill skill stacking, but my experience, the damage on that is just not enough. Then you go over to the... Yeah, the... The multiple bullet ones, and kind of like the Major Tom, the spread is just way too wide. Now at least you only have one ammo per shot here, but you'd have to use this thing at shotgun range, and it's just not that fast, and you're not getting that many pellets, and just kind of no. And then you go with your no accessory, which is just, again, going to be kind of pillow fisted. Not that accurate, and the problem with this, these, you have that slower bullet speed and kind of not great recoil or accuracy, making it hard to use it at range. But because the hip fire is so bad, you can't really hip fire it, so you kind of have the ADS, and you kind of have the ADS at close range, because this thing barely makes it to mid range. So the bloody bandit barrels, not a fan of. So then you can imagine I'm not going to be the f a fan of the other ones, the bloody E-Tech barrels. And where are you? There we go. So with these ones, you're going to actually have pretty similar stats to the other ones. So let's look at the times three here. Uh, where is it? So yeah, stat-wise it's the same. So I don't have to go over those anymore. But with these ones, the fire, the bullets move even slower and they bounce even more. And that weird wiggle is going to make it very hard to hit things. And again, you're going to have even worse range. Um, so this would be, yeah, the, the fire rate accessory. So if, at least this one, now I'm kind of at that sweet spot range of that guy, but it's going to be hard to do that in the field. Um, it is pulling a lot of bullets out fast, but god damn that damage. So I don't really have to shoot the other one because you, uh, you've seen those. So, so far not a fan. Next we are going to go for the Fletched. So the Fletched, if I have it right, yep. So the Fletched is the second element that doesn't have a stat change on it, which is kind of better. So you see here you're going to have, no, that's the fire rate accessory. There we go. Why does that one have lower damage? Fire rate. Huh, I didn't think the penetration slowed, yeah, slowed down the fire rate, but it does. Um, or these just had lower fire rate in general. Sorry, they've part of the red text of the crybabies is just a decrease in fire rate in general, which again is really dumb. So, with the ones with penetration, the only stat difference is going to be your fire rate. But sacrificing fire rate on a gun that's not that good to start with for bullet penetration. Uh, not good, because at least it, the bullets aren't as, don't at least seem that slow, but um, it's not that often that you're lining up good bullet penetration shots, and Nisha is the only one that can kind of take advantage of that, because she's got some Boar family skills that like penetration. But I just don't think this gun is good enough to uh, survive without it. Although I do like the look of the bullets on this. And then you can see on the accessory, it's got the laser sight there. So, yeah, you can go to the other ones. So, fire rate. Now, fire rate generally turns things yellow. It didn't turn it yellow with a red bullet because the red, uh, the bloody accessory overrides that. But at least it's putting out a lot of bullets. But again, pillow fisted and you're gonna have to spray a ton of bullets to kill things with it and it kind of makes it into a bullet hose but at least the damage is a little bit higher than the red to start with 
Um, and then you get your times three wiggly, which is kind of that same thing. Or sorry, not wiggly, just the times three accessory. Where it's just too wide to really hit things reliably, and there's not a lot of enemies out there that are like that. So, sadly, these things aren't that great because there's no real great advantage of that penetration. It's not worth the decrease in fire rate, especially with the middling stats of what it's based on. So after that, you have... Actually, I've got to do fletching for E-Tech Barrel. Which is kind of going to be the same there. But once again, in my opinion, slightly worse. Even though I like these thematically, they're just all over the fucking place. And if they would have just made these bounce... It would really help with the bad accuracy, but they didn't. So again, I don't find a ton of use for this, but I will go and test, test them out. But the problem with all these guns is just very middling stats, and the red text abilities just aren't that good. So then lastly, you have no element. Now on the... Alright, sorry, not no... These are not elemental, but... Outside of the red and the penetration, you can do cryo, corrosive, or non-element. You can't do fire or shock. So with these, you have, again, the same three variants. So I will have the increased fire rate accessory. And compared to the stats here, Um, lower damage, increased fire rate, as expected. Then you have your times three, which is lower damage per pellet, but it's a little bit better. Um, but still that bad fire rate. And then the no accessory and no element. Same stats, just lowered. That. So these ones are a lot like the penetration ones, except you don't have penetration. Um, you can get it in Corrosive, which there's not a lot of reason for Corrosive guns outside of the Claptrap DLC. You're not going to use this for big bosses, which is about the only time to use Corrosive, like Felicity and some things. Um, they do come in Shock, so that's kind of cool, but the fact that you can't get in Fire is kind of lame. And, yeah, I'm not actually going to go and shoot those because you've already seen them. And then you have the same thing here which are going to have the same stats but the Wigglies. So, as you can see from this pile, there's a lot of variants of this gun. And the cool thing about the Crybaby, so thematically, very fucking cool. Uh, the red text ability and how they make it kind of like Binding of Isaac guns with the Wiggling and the penetration. Really creative. Um, for those Borderlands 1 fans that missed the Borderlands 1 gun system, these ones are a little bit more like it because you have that big variation of um, different red text abilities on different parts, not just the barrels. Very cool. But, execution-wise, it's kind of a failure because they put them on... They used it for one of the lesser guns in the entire game as a base gun to put it on, and then they lowered the stats of it. So, in my opinion, they should have left the damage and the fire rate alone and just had all these things increase the stats and have no penalties. Because when you're taking a blue red text gun, just make it better. Don't, don't do this false balancing thing because this gun already isn't that great. You're not going to make these broken by just increasing the base damage or leaving the base damage alone and increasing the fire rate. Uh, and all these things because the slower bullet speed is already kind of a nerf to the gun and Then the wave is definitely a nerf so to give them those things you almost need to get a damage and stat increase And that's where these just all failed and I will bring them in for testing so you guys can see them and you know you binding fans I'm sorry um, I tried for a good amount of time after this the holodome came out to really make use of these guns and tried different builds and everything, and I never really found something that really worked well. It's not that I wasn't able to kill things, but they're just really unimpressive compared to 
what I could get out of um, just so many other guns. And that's kind of the weak thing. The fuse a lot I haven't really played with to you know be honest, and I'm excited to kind of use that. So that is the good, the bad, and the ugly for scav assault rifles, which finishes up all the gun categories except for rocket launchers. So those will be next, and uh, those shouldn't take that long to go through because I don't think there's that many. I might do some combined videos for that one just to kind of speed it up and move on to the Oz kits and some of those more uh, interesting things. So anyways, let me know what you guys thought of these guns. You know, are there some Crybaby fans out there? And, you know, I'm not saying you guys can't use them because if you found a way to like them and they work for you, awesome, because this game is all about fun. And if that's fun, you should definitely do it. But that's it for this video. I thank you all for watching. Once again, um, I guess a little quick more second. Um, for you new subscribers, which I recently had a shout out from 2K Marketing, where they tweeted me and uh, shared a video on Facebook. Um, you guys, I started this series over a year ago with Borderlands 2, and I have a video for every category of Borderlands 2. Uh, guns, shields, grenades, class mods, all that stuff. So if you guys want to go back and watch those, there are the playlists that are pretty easy to find. And uh, you might get a kick out of it, because there's a lot of stuff to watch. So anyways, thank you once again, everyone. I will see you later. Bye.